Mark Scott, you're reporting. Hey, Dolan. So, two stories today. Two big stories, actually. Well, actually, one big story. I wanted to talk about Bernie Sanders, man. I was so fucking ready to talk about Bernie Sanders and offer a slight apology for something that I said the other day. I know it got a lot of people's balls in a knot. Ah, Bernie Sanders people coming to Bernie's rescue. Where you been? Uh, I'll talk a little bit about Bernie Sanders, but um, and his, you know, but he doesn't get a free pass. That's what I want to talk about. No free pass for Bernie. That, those days are over. Uh, and um, let's talk about Jeffrey Epstein. Ooh, you heard? He was in. They found him in jail on the floor, fetal position, with choke marks, or hang marks. Wow, suicide. Suicide watch? Here's the particulars. So, Jeffrey Epstein, quote, was found injured and in the fetal position inside of a New York City jail. Hmm. That's the, uh, that's MSNBC, that's NBC reporting. It's actually not a New York City jail. It is in New York City, but it is a federal prison. Manhattan Correctional Center is where he is. So I don't know. It's just a just a little, a little discrepancy there. Um, just poke holes in the story to see what's going on. Found semi semi conscious with quote marks on his neck. Some sometime over the last two days. So we don't know exactly when it happened. Sometime over the last two days. And since when does information like this leak out from a, from a, a federal prison? It's a little suspicious. That's all I'm saying. What else? So, according to NBC, that, that Epstein is on suicide watch. We knew that. And, quote, here's, the, here's, the, here's a, an interesting observation. I think they may be right. Is, quote, possibly staged an attack or an, a suicide attempt to get a transfer to another facility. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. Where are you going to go? I mean, they got you, right? And that's not usually how it works, right? So, you know, you're in a, you're in a jail. I don't know. I, I, I don't have any eyewitness, you know, testimony to being in a federal jail. But I can tell you that, the, you know, Corrections is very savvy. They, they know a fake when they see it. They, everything is cameraed. They know what's going on. You think that they left Epstein in a room by himself without a camera on him? <laughs> no way. Right? He's he's totally 24-hour a day monitored, right? All right, so so where's the bullshit? So there's one more twist to the story, right? So again, to recap, Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein, the serial pedophile, looking at 45 years in jail. Probably compromised some of the biggest billionaires in the world in a sex trafficking, child trafficking ring. Owns a Lolita Island, a Lolita Learjet. Screwing teenage girls, children on a plane high above the sky and on an island. Is sitting in jail, no bail. And now he tries to kill himself. Or did he? Did he stage it? Is it the Jew? Ah, he's, uh, he's, you know, making up a story. Oh, I'm I'm persecuted. I'm a persecuted Jew in jail with Negroes. (laughs) So here's the other part of the story. Maybe, I don't know. Just throwing it out there. So maybe, here's another uh, interesting twist that leaked out. A man named uh, Nicholas Tartaglione. Tartaglione. <laughs> Nicholas Tartaglione. Italian. Um, has been questioned in the situation. Mr. Taglione. Tartaglione. Is 49 years old. He's an ex-cop. <laughs> and the cop. He killed four people. And buried them in his yard. In a, in, a, in a coke bust gone bad. 
Nice friends Jeffrey Epstein's keeping, right? <laughs> you gotta love it. You see the difference between being held on bail and, and being allowed to live in your, your $77 million apartment on the you know Upper East Side of Manhattan? It's a big deal, right? So they're pressuring him, right? He's, he's, he's scared. He's crying. He's, he's making shit up. Oh, they fucking tried to kill me. They fucked my ass. Look at my fucking ass. They fucked my asshole. <laughs> oh, my God. They fucked my ass. What's up, squirrel? What's up, squirrel? How you doing? What'd you get? Find a piece of pizza? You find a piece of pizza? What are you eating? What are up? Oh, he's got something. Found some kind of snack. Eating out of the pail. Ah, free. He's free. He's a free spirit. He eats a little out of the pail. Fucking sleeps in the tree all day long. Comes down for some nuts. Gets some squirrel pussy here and there, you know? Well, maybe he's a, maybe it's a woman. He's getting some... some you know, squirrel, squirrel mounting. <laughs> Woo! So Jeffrey Epstein getting fucked in his ass by some guy, right? So, so did um, so why is just in finality? Why is uh, why is this name Nicholas Tartaglione uh, leaking out from the prison system? And he it just happens he's he's uh he's an ex cop. And he killed four people and buried them in his yard over a, a, a coke bust gone bad. Right? Why is he hanging out with it? Why is it? Why is that? Why is that guy even near Jeffrey Epstein, who's who's supposed to be in protective custody and on suicide watch? Why is that animal next to him? Well, they're they're both animals, but why is why are you putting one animal next to the other animal? Shouldn't you separate your animals? So I don't know. Did Jeffrey Epstein try to kill himself, or did he fake it to get a transfer to a different facility where he would be safer or happier? <laughs> I don't know. Again, the corrections, it doesn't work like that. They're not responsive to your, to your immediate bullshit. If they sense his bullshit, the, the injuries, um, injuries were not serious. Jeffrey Epstein's injuries, neck injuries, what? He got a little neck stuff? He tried to hang himself on the doorknob with, a, with, his, with his shirt, and it failed, and, he, and then he, he, he rolled up and he curled up in a little ball and in a fetal position, crying, I fucking, I hate fucking jail! Oh my God, I can't believe this shit! Right? Who cares? Who cares? That's what happens when you're a fucking serial pedophile. Nobody cares about you. You sit in a jail and you rot. So... I don't know. Maybe a hoax. We'll find out. So here's the other story. Changing page. So all the Bernie Sanders people, you might want to you might want to watch this. And the people that hate Bernie Sanders, you could go now. <laughs> Bernie Sanders does not get a free pass. Let me repeat that. The days of Bernie Sanders, the the, the good senator from Vermont, who ran for president in 2016. And inspired a nation on a platform of democratic socialism, universal single payer health care, get money out of politics, break up the banks, stop the military industrial complex. That Bernie Sanders is still running for president, but he doesn't get a pass at all. Why? Ah, you'll have to wait for that, I'll tell you. Why doesn't Bernie Sanders, think about that for a second. Why doesn't Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders is doing great, man. He's a great guy, right? We love Bernie Sanders. He's, he's for the people. Why doesn't he get a free pass? Why shouldn't we play politics and say, no, 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 Bernie Sanders could do no wrong, right? Fuck Trump. Trump's bad. Trump, Trump is evil. Trump gave tax breaks to the billionaires, gave the, the largest distribution of, of wealth in the, in the history of America to the billionaires under his watch in the tax breaks. Right, still instigating insurgency wars, trying to trying to swindle Venezuela out of their oil, right? Lying, cheating, bullshitting. You know, highly entertaining, but still uh, deeply corrupted by the money. Trump, right? Why should we? You know, 
is Bernie Sanders at, at face value a better choice? Of course he is. But so here's the deal. So the other day I made a uh, a report came out that said Bernie Sanders was cheating his employees. Bernie Sanders was cheating his employees, paying them $15 an hour and requiring to requiring them to work 60 plus hours a week which breaks down to about 12 11 dollars an hour so is that true well according to the according to a, a new report it looks like fox may have bent that and said he was paying him 15 all right but it turns out that he was paying him 17 for 40 hours and giving them health care but he was in fact working them 60 plus hours which breaks down to about $13 an hour now you could say oh no, no so see for you it's fake news no it's not fucking fake news because Bernie Sanders why is he paying them the bare fucking minimum wage why I thought Bernie Sanders oh Mr. fucking you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pay your employees, you know, a living wage. The difference between fifteen dollars and 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 seventeen dollars, I don't know. If you're in, maybe if you're in, in the middle of the country somewhere, that's a big deal. But in New York City, or in Boston, or in L.A., or in Seattle, or in any city in the major, any major city in the country, that's not a lot of money. What about? Twenty-five dollars an hour. Okay, now we're now we're getting somewhere because look, these are temp jobs anyway. A campaign is not a permanent position; it's a temp job. You do the job. You're like a contractor. You do the job. You make your money, and then when the campaign's over, you're done. I, and and in in Bernie's situation, you're 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 done. You're done, but you you didn't save a fucking penny. Right? How do you save money making fifteen dollars an hour working sixty, seventy hours a week? Right? Make it forty hours a week and then they could go work at McDonald's for the other fifteen dollars an hour for a couple of hours. And make a living. Dogs are running wild. Dogs run wild. Dogs run wild. <laughs> yeah, there's another one. Dun, 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 they know I like... Oh! <laughs> Stepped in a hole. They know I like cats. They fucking chase me, man. Well, not today. So Bernie Sanders doesn't get a free ride, right? Because although the story of... The, there is a discrepancy in the story. Was he paying them 15 versus 17? It turns out, uh, I'll lean... Okay, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He was, he was, he was uh, paying them 17. But Bernie also, his, his uh, campaign manager... Faz Chakra, Shakir, Faz Shakir, uh, initially said that his staff paid paid a competitive salary, competitive to other campaigns. That's a scapegoat. That's bullshit. Oh no, no, we're paying a, just like everybody else. That was his comment. Is that his statement? Well, it, it appears to be. His own employees are leaking the information out. His own staff is reaching out to the press saying, we're getting underpaid. And Bernie Sanders says to that, so I'm, I'm, sta I'm holding my ground on this part, that Bernie says he was upset that employees spoke to the press about a union debate. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That is the essence of of union battles speak out carry a sign join the fucking picket line what are you talking about Bernie Sanders are you got your fucking old head up your ass you're just as senile as that fuck on TV yesterday Mueller <laughs> no way man no way Bernie Bernie what are you talking about you, you gotta be kidding me right you, you, you're saying that that, that your employees are should be shamed for for speaking out and going to the press and exposing your cheapness. Pay your fucking people twenty five dollars an hour. Pay them. 
Oh, they're they're low level, low level employees. No, fuck you. Low level. Who's low level? Low level? That's what you say? Oh, they're low level c- campaign people. Fuck you. Right? Living wage means living wage. So, so why doesn't Bernie Sanders get a free pass at all, ever again? Why? Russiagate. Yesterday we saw a man either strung out on Xanax or clearly senile or the, the worst scenario, just completely incompetent, Robert Mueller, where we saw him for the first time really express himself and handle questions. And he couldn't hear the question and he didn't know what anybody was talking about and he was like, I can't answer that. And what page are you referring to? And, and it's, if it's not in the report, I'm not going to answer it. And, and, and excuse me, I can't hear. What? What did you say? I, what? What? What's the question? Right. Three, four, five hours of that bullshit, right? Right? And in that bullshit, there's Russiagate. The premise of Russiagate, that the Russians hacked the election... Is 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 in that is in that fiasco that we saw yesterday, and none of it was ever talked about. Why? Because the people directly involved never talked about it, and that's one you, Bernie Sanders, because there is nobody walking this planet, not the great I am who walks out in the park every morning, knows the 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 exact nature of RussiaGate. Nobody alive knows it better than Bernie Sanders. Why? Because Bernie Sanders was the direct recipient of that dick in the ass. He was the direct recipient in 2016 of Hillary Clinton's dick in his fucking ass. No, this indisputable, right? That Russia Gate, the story of Russia was a fabrication in the bowels of the DNC, possibly Hillary Clinton's little shack in New York, in Brooklyn. <clears throat> and and it was a scapegoat to hide the fact that they got caught cheating. Now, that is the inescapable truth. Regardless of the last two and a half years, three years of gaslighting and you know, and the Rachel Maddows and the and all the, the you know, fake news spinning the story to say that Trump had something to do with any of that. Trump colluded. Trump obstructed. If that's your argument, there is there really is no argument because the essence of Russiagate is in the bowels of the DNC in March, April, May, June, somewhere in there where some brave soul grabbed those emails and threw them at WikiLeaks and told the world of the exact nature of the corruption. But besides that, Bernie Sanders and his campaign all along were telling you about the money laundering, how Hillary Clinton was was in charge of the DNC, instructing, uh, uh, Ber- trying to get Bernie Sanders to raise money for down ballot uh, candidates, all Democratic candidates. Bernie, you're making all this millions of dollars Raise some money for us so we could give it to the, to the to the poor the poorer candidates, and Bernie said fuck you because they knew that all the money coming into the DNC, or the DCCC or Hillary Clinton's campaign was all being funneled back to Hillary Clinton, and Bernie Sanders knew about that and him and his his campaign guys exposed it, you know beautifully. The corruption, what, what they've never touched on and never refused to deal with is the, the voter purging here in Brooklyn. 200,000 people purged off the rolls that were likely Bernie Sanders voters. Hillary Clinton, you know, wins by 200,000 votes in New York. Closing the closing the, uh, the polls in Arizona, you know, while people are still online voting. Two, two million votes thrown in the garbage in California. That's Russiagate. See, that's what Russiagate hides. It hides the deep, the deep corruption and the deep cheating that went on at the DNC. The fabrication of 
uh, Hillary Clinton, Robbie Mook, uh, John Podesta, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the fabrication that somehow Russia swooped in and hacked the election is a cover for them cheating. And that is and always will be the indisputable fact. Whether it was the one Seth Rich who dumped the emails to WikiLeaks, that door is still open and only WikiLeaks themselves can, can, solve, can solve that mystery, can answer the mystery. Was, who gave you the goddamn emails? Come on already. <laughs> we already know, you know, the publisher already said it wasn't any state actor. So, so that is, that's why Bernie Sanders doesn't get a free pass. Not today, not ever. Now, on the other hand, and the other thing is Bernie Sanders is not really making any news today. I, I'll be honest, he's kind of boring. You watch him, he's fucking, he's not cut. he's not breaking any ground. Bernie you're not, you're not lifting people up. You're not calling out the corruption that's going on right now, which is crowding the field, crowding the field with 20 idiots so that nobody hears the message. That's corruption. That is, that is unprecedented in democratic politics. But they did that for you, Bernie. That's, your, that's their gift to you. You don't call it out. No, no, no. That's the rules. We'll play by the rules. That. Right. Or, or the other one. Uh, oh, they're all my friends. No, no, no. These people, they're my friends. Elizabeth Warren, she's my friend. Uh, Joe Biden, no, no, no. We go back, way back. We're, we're friends. You're not going to win like that, Bernie. You've got you to gotta cut these people up. You don't get a pass. right? Trump was a, was a rock star. Was a fucking folk hero. Why? Because he took, he took little Marco Rubio's face and he smashed it into the ground. He took Ted Cruz, lying motherfucking Ted Cruz, took his face and smashed it into the ground. Right? He was a winner. Right? And for a brief moment in 2016, Bernie Sanders, you were the winner. You were winning because you were calling out Hillary Clinton's corruption. You, were t you told the world about, about something that they didn't know, which was the, the speeches, giving speeches at Goldman Sachs, not because they cared what you had to say, but they would give you $250,000 to buy your influence and, and not bash them. Yeah, come talk. Nobody cares what you're saying. It's just a lunch, right? But you were there and you got paid first class tickets and, and a nice you know, luxury suite and 250 grand in your pocket. Right? You told the world about that. You exposed that corruption, Bernie Sanders. But you stopped short now of calling out your own party's corruption. That they're gonna, they're rigging the, they're rigging the, the primaries, already. They're rigging the debates. The, the 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 rules at the at the convention are rigged already, meaning that you can't get to 50 percent because they're diluting the float. They're gonna spread all the votes, all uh, among 20 people, and nobody gets to 50 percent. And then they turn around, and they give it to shit sandwich Joe Biden. You don't think they're gonna do that? You, you're just, you're, you're fucking dreaming. That's why you don't get a pass, Bernie. Because you know the sign, the sign, you know, look. I, I know people watching this, you, you guys either hate Bernie Sanders. He's a socialist. He's, a, he, I, he's got three homes. I don't know, he's a millionaire. That's all bullshit, right? His wife's not a, an embezzler. <laughs> it's fucking fake stories, right? He has three homes. He won... He, he sold the fucking best-selling book. Give the guy a break on that. Right? Guy sells a best-selling book, makes a million dollars, buys himself a summer home and calls it, calls it quits. Is not, is not, I mean, he, he supported Hillary Clinton. I, I get that. I get all that. But the fact is, I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the deep woods now. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> but Bernie Sanders does not get a free ride. You, you, can't, you can't give him a pass, right? He knows the corruption. Now, if Bernie Sanders... Let's have a... Let's just a, a vision. A, vi a vision for you. Bernie Sanders comes out one day. And Bernie Sanders, fuck you, man. Well, I have to talk about your shit? Why don't you get on your fucking YouTube channel and tell people what's going on? Why don't you look into the camera and say, I paid my people $17 an hour because I believed it. Right? Say that. Why do you got to fucking... They're spinning that shit out of control. Get off your ass, you fucking old fart. 
You're not making any, you're not making what? Wait for the debate, so. Hey, the debate's a fucking fight, man. Oh, fucking Joe Biden, uh, fucking Trump, Trump, uh, blow it. It's fucking bullshit, man. Get on the fucking YouTube and, and tell people what's going on. <laughs> Get off your ass, right? That's what I'm trying to say. But, but, um, if Bernie Sanders wants to use his platform, oh, what, what he could do, the one move that would change everything. Bernie, you want to change a game changer? You want the game changer? You want to tell you what the game changer is? It's easy. It's uh, obvious to me. What you have to do is you got to look into the camera. You got to look into that camera and say, Russia had nothing to do with the election. Stealing. Russia had nothing to do with stealing that election. That was the Hillary Clinton campaign. In cahoots with the then President of the United States, Barack Obama, and Loretta Lynch, the AG at the time, who gave cover for the whole thing, and a corrupt FBI. Say it, because that's what happened. We know it. We know that happened. How on earth, how on earth could you, could you accuse the Russian, the Russian government of, of hacking an election, an act of war, and there's absolutely no consequence to Russia? Why? Because it's not a true story. Everybody with, with an IQ over 70 that's been following the thing from the beginning knows that. To blame, and then to blame Trump. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Bernie, that's why you don't get a free pass, man. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Sorry, Ber Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Now, in terms of policy, you still hold, you know, Trump's policy of, of nothing for anybody except billionaires, as opposed to what, what Bernie is, uh, you know, pitching for. And it's still, no, it's still no comparison. If Bernie Sanders is the candidate, Bernie Sanders will win the presidency. I still stand by that. There's no doubt about it. And will I champion for Sanders? Absolutely. Absolutely. Based on the financials. Right? But can he get to that point? Does he have the, 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 the balls to do it? It doesn't, it doesn't, he, doesn't see the, he doesn't see the opening. The opening is to call out the corruption, Bernie. That's all you got. You have to point to it. Yeah, it is the, the speeches and it is the emails and it is all that stuff, but it's the cheating, the overt cheating. Keep talking about it and maybe you'll win, you know, but... Still, no pass. You got to inspire me, man. You got to get me, you got to get my tail wagging like it was in 2016. Because right now, it's kind of, it's kind of hanging between my balls right now. Just fucking, right? Ooh, I see a red cardinal. There's a red cardinal on my path. You can't see it, but it's, ah, uh, he's hopping around over there. Red cardinal sighting. So, uh, so there you go. Did Epstein kill himself? Did Epstein try to kill himself? Should we give Bernie Sanders a pass? I don't know. What you? What do you think? Comment down below. Marcus Conti reporting.